I am talking to Bree Dieter from Bree Dieter Photography, an old friend who has had a baby and is taking amazing pictures. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? It's good to talk I'm to you. I'm great. Uh, I'm great. So your daughter was born just over a year ago. Yeah. How nice. has that changed or has it changed at all uh, in things that you're doing each day? Um, well, of, of course, actually, my life has completely changed <laughs> since I've had her. You know, my life revolves around her now, which is a good thing. You know, I'm happy to have her. Um, pretty much everything I do is for her and revolves around her, like I said, but that's a being a mom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it yeah, does it does. Well. It has a crazy way of turning the world upside down. Has it affected your photography at all? It has in the respect that, um, you know, I didn't go full time until I had her, you know, she kind of pushed me to take the leap of faith to go full time with my business, which I should have done a long time ago. But sometimes it just takes like, you know, a really big thing to push you out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you just can't get out by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, look, I mean, I think, you know, anytime you try to you know, make that move, um, you know, sometimes it's the best things that push you forward that make you want to achieve. And I, I think that that's awesome. Now your photography, I've seen a lot. So you, you've been doing, uh, I've seen maternity pictures and graduations and all sorts of different, you know, collaborations of, of people. What's your favorite? Uh, do you have a favorite shoot that you've worked on? Um, who I've been doing it for so long. I like, I know. A, it, like a specific favorite shoot. No, just because there are so many really awesome ones that I've done. I'd say recently a favorite that I did was a surprise proposal at Baker Park. I did that a few months ago. That was really fun. And then I just recently did like a mom and me session with a with like a grown son and his mom. <laughs> but he dressed up like a kid. Like he wanted to give his mom like the the photo session experience that wasn't really around when he was younger. So like I love really that. <laughs> I actually saw it on social and it kind of reminded me of those awkward family photos at first. And then when yeah. I read why he was doing it, I thought, oh, how sweet is that? Yeah, it, it was it was a lot of fun. It was it, we were all just laughing the whole time. And then we broke into kind of a normal session. He changed. And, you know, so we have those normal family memories to remember forever. But I'm sure him and his family are going to laugh at those forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it, hey, if you can't have a good time in uh, taking photos like that. And he's right. You know, when we were younger, there wasn't these cool photo sessions available. I just went to a wedding uh, a few weeks ago and you know, there was no such thing when I got married as a first look and all these great images that you can get now um, from, you know, photography. And I just think it's, it's fabulous. So that's great. Yeah, it's lots of fun. <laughs> so you have been taking photos, I think since you, I remember you were like 16 years old. Um, how, what has been the biggest challenge like so far in your career, you know, that's kind of had you maybe changing a little bit or pivoting a little bit? Have you come across a challenge in your career so far? I mean, to be completely honest, I would say that it's been the whole career has been a challenge, you know, because it, everything is constantly changing. So I'm for the past 10 years, you know, I've constantly been changing and adapting and learning. And, you know, then there are a lot of photographers around now compared to the that there used to be. So there's just a lot of, you know, stuff that you have to constantly learn and, you know, figure out. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a constant education. You're always keeping yourself up to date. What type, are you talking like when you try to keep yourself up to date because you do really well on social media, which I think is so important because people want to see what your eye sees, which is sometimes, you know, very different. I love some of the creative spins you've put on your photos like post-production. Is that what you're talking about when you're trying to keep up with like different technology to integrate and things like that? Yeah, and mostly, you know, you know, the marketing is always changing and social media is always changing their algorithms. And, you know, it just kind of everything is how it works and how things are being pushed is 
always changing. So I would say that's kind of like my big challenge is yeah. keep it, keeping up with all of the changes. And, you know, like so, sometimes, you know, the Facebook algorithm isn't too nice to, nope. to small businesses anymore no. and stuff like that. It's just trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to push things, kind of keep a nice balance as well. Yeah. yeah. What would you say is your um, point of differentiation? Because you are correct. Like they're at pretty much everyone with a camera or a phone or whatever, you know, is calling themselves a photographer, which, you know, could be true. Um, do you have kind of something that you say, you know, this is this is what makes me different from the rest? Well, something that that I that I like to think about is that I do have kind of a base education in photography, like a formal education, which is really helpful um, for me, you know, kind of being able to jump into any situation and adapt, you know, any lighting situation, I could just walk in and, you know, take a look around and handle and I feel like with that base knowledge, it, it you know, you have to learn the rules like like a pro so you can break them you know like kind of yeah. like that <laughs> yeah yeah no for sure like i think kind of having that understanding of how photography works and kind of the theories behind it gives you you're right that base to be able to manipulate it or see something from a different perspective than someone else may um, now you do um sessions on location and you do you also have access to a studio that you use yeah there are a few different studios that i have access to that i use kind of with me and the client's discretion depending on what they're looking for yeah yeah, yeah and then sometimes sure. i do um in-home lifestyle sessions as well where i'll visit the client's home most of the time that's for a newborn session but uh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. nobody wants well. to take their newborn out into the public so going to them is sometimes easier yeah definitely <laughs> and uh how many photos have you taken of your own daughter is it like millions already yeah i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't count <laughs> understandable so all of us too what is the best way for people to get in touch with you oh my i'm all over the place um really the the central point would be my website breedeaterphotography.com but i'm everywhere facebook google instagram you know how we talked about social media and keeping up i yeah. really try to keep up so you can pretty much find me anywhere yeah, if you type in Brie, B-R, two eyes, uh, yeah. you will find her for sure. Now, you service Washington County, Frederick County. Are there any other places that you go consistently? Um, I would say I do a lot of work in Pennsylvania. I'd say, you know, like Franklin County. Oh, nice. Excellent. Yeah, Keeps I don't busy really out there. know all of the counties off of the top of my head, but I, I do a lot of work in PA, actually. <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's really good uh, for you, too, because I know you're up in Washington County, based out of there. So yeah, be right in quick the middle. And easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are for sure. Now, do you classify yourself in any particular specialty? Like I know I've talked to some photographers who are really strictly weddings, and I know you do like family portraiture. Is there any specific uh, specialty that you like to target? I like to call myself a milestone photographer. So I'm photographing a lot of really important times in people's lives. Be that, you know, like a first birthday, graduation, senior portraits, things like that, uh, family portraits even. It is kind of a milestone just to, to watch your family grow and um, things like that. So um, I would say that I do take on a limited amount of weddings each year, but I really like to focus on the portrait photography and the weddings, you know, are a lot. So yeah. I only, only do a few of those, but I do enjoy them as well. I just really like to focus on the milestones and the yeah. portraits and I like to do holidays and fun things like that. Yes, yes. And I have seen some of your holiday pictures. So do you have um, any packages uh are they on your website where people can actually um or do you do you like to just contact people have them chat with you so that you can understand what they need first 
It works both ways. I have um, a part on my website where you can go in and you can type in an inquiry form with all of the information about your session. But I do have some preset bookings on my website that you can go in and customize and, and kind of like automatically book. But then I still do get in contact with the client. I kind of kind of like to start communicating right away because I like yeah. to know what their vision is for the session so I can prepare kind of for as long as possible beforehand. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cause there's, you know, when uh, I would assume for, for photography, just like when I go out and talk to people, when you kind of know what angle they're shooting for, you can enhance that with your skills. Uh, but you kind of at least stay in line with what they're looking for and then maybe occasionally throw them a surprise or two that they weren't expecting. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's so fun. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Look, Bree, I think you're wonderful. I've had a great time over the years working with you. I think you do capture some great moments and uh, I hope everybody heads to your website again <laughs> coming up. There might be uh, a special occasion, a family reunion, a birth of a new baby, or again, these milestone birthdays that uh, I know you'll be able to capture for people very well. So we really appreciate your time today. Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for having me. You know, I'm always happy to talk to you.